Hello there, this is Heather, and I'm here to do Nighttime Tales on April 29th. And our theme today is Australian animals, specifically the kangaroo today. And hello to my replay viewers, hello to my YouTube viewers. This is Pippin, she's excited to be here. She just came in and sat on my lap because she was ready for story time, but I had to push her off to get get going here. So, oh, she doesn't like that I stopped petting her. Don't lick that. I just have to um, open up my feed here on the library's Facebook page, um, on my laptop that is, so that I can see the people commenting when I go to flip the screen around. Hello, Julia and probably Bryn. Hi guys. I'll wait for some of you to join us live here. Oh, Laura's here too. Hello. You can't tell right now, but Pippin is standing here. She just looks like a wall of fur, but <laughs> I'm sitting behind her for the moment. Okay, let's see. Oh, here is my feed here on the computer. I've got a few of you joining me now. Hi, everybody. Oh, I said it already for the replay viewers, but today we are um, doing Australian animals as our theme, specifically the kangaroo. So that's the plan for today. And Pippin is very excited to be here. <laughs> oh, now she just sat on my lap. She's the star of the show today. <laughs> I hope you all like animals because she's here to stay, I think. She's going to hang around for a little bit today. Um, so maybe we will try to do our hello song with Pippin sitting on our lap so you can get your clapping hands out and, <clears throat> excuse me, and we're gonna sing um, bread and butter today. Okay, I can't see anything. I'm gonna have to make her sit somewhere else. Pippin, sit here, sit. Good girl. Okay, here we go. Get your clapping hands out. And it goes bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slowly as we can. Hello. <laughs> she wants to clap too. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as quickly as we can. Hello. <laughs> bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loudly as we can. Hello! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as quietly as we can. Hello! <laughs> Good job, everybody. I hope you participated in our hello song. Okay, she is being very needy and involved today. Now she's trying to lay on my lap. Oh, dog. Can you sit here? Sit. Sit. Good girl. Lay down. Good girl. Okay, maybe she'll stay here while I read. We'll see. Our first book for our theme is called Pouch, and I'm going to flip the camera around so that the image is not backwards. There we go. Okay, and settle here. Oh yeah, I always like to share that I'm wearing my pajamas for nighttime tales. Today I have Superman pajamas on and I forgot my slippers so I'm just barefoot today. But for our Australian animal, specifically kangaroo theme, um, we've got our first book called Pouch by David Ezra Stein and that is a very cute little kangaroo. Did you guys know that kangaroos, baby kangaroos, are called joeys? And they grow up as a baby in their mom's pouch on her belly. When he was a brand new kangaroo, Joey lived in the pouch. So Joey is the name of all baby kangaroos. But this kangaroo's name is actually Joey too. Hope that makes sense. Joey lived in the pouch until one day he peeked out and saw the world and his mama smiling down at him. 
Mama, said Joey, I want to hop. Look how cute that little Joey is. He climbed out of the pouch and took two hops to the tall grass. Look at him go. Have you guys ever seen a kangaroo in real life or in a video? Have you seen how they jump to move around? Let me know if you've seen a kangaroo before. Who are you? Do you guys know who that is? Bee, said the bee. <gasps> Pouch, said Joey. Look, he got scared, didn't he? He hopped right back in to his mama's pouch. But soon he wanted to hop again. Out he goes. There he's playing in the grass. He took three hops to the little hill. Who are you? Rabbit. Do you think he'll like rabbit? Hmm, let's see. Pouch, Joey said. But soon he wanted to hop again. He got scared of the little rabbit, didn't he? He took four hops to the sandy hollow. Hop, 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 hop. There he's in the sand now. Who are you? Bird. That's a pretty bird. Oops, it's kind of blue, but it might be a raven. Pouch, said Joey. <laughs> Look at him, he's so fearful. Poor guy. But soon he wanted to hop again. He took five hops to the pasture. Hop, 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 hop. Who are you? Kangaroo! Do you think that would be a good friend for Joey? I bet they would be good friends. Pouch! said the two kangaroos. Wait, said Joey, you are afraid of me too? <laughs> they both think that's hilarious. They were scared of each other. Then they hop, 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 hoppity hopped everywhere. Look, and we see the bird, there's the bee. I don't, oh, I do see the rabbit. There's the rabbit that Joey met. Pouch, said the mamas. No thanks. There's the two Joeys, their best of friends. And they're growing up, aren't they? They're becoming brave. So kangaroos are found in Australia, which is a continent and a country, and it's pretty far away. And interestingly, they have a different time zone from us. So they're actually about, I think it's about 24 hours ahead of us. So it's actually tomorrow in Australia, if that makes sense. It's a little hard to understand. And they're on the Southern part of the earth. So if, if this circle is the whole earth, they're on the Southern part down here. So they actually experience summer when we are having winter. And so now that it's coming up to spring, they will be going into fall. So it's going to be fall and then winter for them. Very interesting, um, but a little hard to understand. Okay, we're going to do a yoga pose next, and I think I'm going to pick a, let's see, I feel like boat pose would be a good one. So here is the boat pose and we will try our best to get you in screen for this but basically we're just gonna sit on our butts like this and then we're going to put our feet up like this and hold our legs 
You can hold by your knees if you want and just balance on your butt. And we'll take some deep breaths, breathe in and out. And in and out. Good job, everybody. Okay, we are going to read our next book, but first I'll show you the craft supplies we're going to need so that um, somebody can gather those up while we read our book. And the craft we're going to be making is a kangaroo, because that's our theme. So, sorry, my craft supplies are behind my phone up here. I'll just move them down here, and then I'll flip you around here. So, here's our next story. We're going to be reading When I First Met You, Blue Kangaroo. And for your craft, in my um, initial post, I said a cup but I'm actually gonna be using a toilet paper roll because I didn't have any paper cups. If you have a paper cup, that would be best, or a plastic cup will work, um, but I'm gonna show it to you with a toilet paper roll as well. You'll need some brown paper or fun foam or felt, some kind of thing. You could make your kangaroo a different color if you want. You could make it blue, like in the next story or um, brown if you want it to be more realistic. Um, if you have googly eyes, that's awesome for the eyeballs, but I don't have any at home, so I'm gonna use a white marker and a black pen. You could just use any kind of markers to draw on your kangaroo's face. You'll need scissors, you'll need glue, possibly tape, and a popsicle stick. Pippin is very interested. She might want to join for craft when we start doing that. Um, so I'll put that all aside and set you back up here. And we're going to read our next story. When I first met you, Blue Kangaroo. And this story is more about um, childhood and motherhood than it is about kangaroos, but it's really sweet and I wanted to share this with you anyways. Can you come sit here, Pippin? Come here. Good girl. Good girl. There, she'll lay down and enjoy the story from there, hopefully. And Blue Kangaroo is written by Emma Chick... Chick... Chester, or... Chi Chester Clark. <laughs> when I first met you, Blue Kangaroo, Blue Kangaroo belonged to Lily. He was her very own kangaroo. Sometimes Lily would say, do you remember when I first met you? And Blue Kangaroo would smile while Lily told him the whole story all over again. There's Blue Kangaroo with his girl, Lily. It seemed like ages and ages ago, Lily had been waiting for the day when her new baby brother, Jack, would come home from the first, for the first time. They're here, they're here, she cried. She was looking forward to helping with everything. She began straight away. Here you are, Mum, she said as she took her some juice and cookies. Thank you, Lily, said her mother. Be careful with that tray. Oh, Lily, look out! But it was too late. The vase tipped over and water and flowers splashed all over Jack's cradle. Oh, Lily, sighed her mother. Look what happened. Poor baby Jack. Look, got in a big mess. Jack screamed and screamed. It's all right, Lily, said her mother. It was an accident. Sorry, Jack, said Lily. When Lily's dad was looking after Jack, Lily said, he really can't do anything by himself, can he? That's why he needs you, Lily, said her father. Why don't you read to him? That's nice. She's going to read baby Jack a story. Let's see how that goes. Lily showed Jack the pictures in her book. Here's a cow, she said. It goes moo. And here's a sheep. It goes ba. And here's a tiger, she said. It goes roar. Jack shrieked. He screamed and screamed. 
Oh, Lily, said her father, that's too much noise. Sorry, Jack, said Lily. Oh, poor Jack got scared of the story. Babies need nice, quiet stories, don't they? One day, Jack was in his pram in the garden. Pram is another word for the baby carrier or the stroller. Hello, Jack, said Lily. Shall I rock you and sing you a lullaby? rock a baby on the treetop, she sang. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. Lily's singing grew louder and louder. The pram bounced up and down. Jack began to cry. Then he screamed and screamed. Oh, Lily, cried her mother, that's much too rough. Sorry, Jack, said Lily. Whoops, her singing got a little out of hand, didn't it? She was bouncing him. I don't think Jack loves me because he cries whenever I go near him, said Lily. Of course he loves you, said her father. You just need to be gentle with him. The next day, Lily's grandma came. I've got a surprise for you, Lily, she said. I've brought someone who needs looking after. Look at grandma's hat. She has a bird in her hat. Do you think that bird landed there because he thinks it's a nest? Or maybe it's a decorative bird that's part of her hat. That's pretty funny. Lily's surprise had soft blue ears, little black eyes, whiskers, and a long blue tail. It was a blue kangaroo. Oh, cried Lily, I love him. Everyone said hello to blue kangaroo. I'm going to look after him forever and ever, said Lily. And blue kangaroo knew he'd come to the right person. Here's blue kangaroo. I like how Lily has a matching bow to her skirt, and her mom also has a matching bow to her shirt. That's pretty cool. Very matchy outfit, people. At bedtime, after Jack's bath, Lily said it was time to bath Blue Kangaroo. You'll love it, she said, as she gently put him in the water. But Blue Kangaroo wasn't so sure. Oh, Blue Kangaroo, said Lily, I do love looking after you. She sprinkled him with Jack's talcum powder, but it came out faster than she expected. It stuck to the wet kangaroo like glue. Oh no, cried Lily, what's happened to you? Oh dear, oh dear, thought poor blue kangaroo. Look at him, he's covered in baby powder. Poor guy. Mom, cried Lily, look what I've done. Oh, Lily, said her mother, <laughs> look at the mess she's making. She's trailing the powder all over the house. He'll be all right, said Lily's mother as she gently washed Blue Kangaroo. He's, er, I'm just no good at looking after babies, said Lily. He won't love me now. It was just a mistake, said Lily's mother. We all make mistakes, she said, as she put Blue Kangaroo in the airing cupboard to dry. You don't, said Lily. That's because I practiced on you, said Lily's mother. Oh, thought Blue Kangaroo, so Lily needs some practice too. There's Blue Kangaroo, all clean, and he's going up on the shelf to dry. Did you make mistakes with me? asked Lily. I make mistakes all the time, said her mother, and I still love you said Lily, and I love you, said her mother, and so do Jack and Blue Kangaroo. Lily lay in the dark thinking about her new baby brother and her new Blue Kangaroo. Everything was new. She had never looked after anyone smaller than she was. There were so many new things to learn. Look, she's lying awake at night. Poor girl. Meanwhile, Blue Kangaroo was feeling better, but he was missing Lily. I'd better go and give her a chance to practice looking after me, he thought. He jumped a beautiful kangaroo jump and landed softly on the floor. Then he tiptoed along the passage to Lily's room. Look at Blue Kangaroo's on his way to Lily's room. He misses her. Blue kangaroo!
whispered Lily. How did you get here? I didn't know you could do that. Blue Kangaroo hopped across the floor and up onto the bed into Lily's arms. See him down there? He's joining her in her bedroom. Oh, Blue Kangaroo, how clever of you. Will you help me look after baby Jack too, said Lily. She hugged him tight and Blue Kangaroo smiled his secret smile. I knew I'd love you, said Lily, when I first met you. And I knew I'd love you, thought Blue Kangaroo. There, they're all happy and Lily's gonna learn to take care of her kangaroo, isn't she? Do any of you have pets or stuffed animals that you like to take care of at home? Let me know in the comments what your favorite um, pet or stuffed animal is and what kind of creature they are. Tell me about that in the comments if you like. We are going to move on to our craft. So I think we'll prop the phone up. But first, I wanted to show you Pippin, how nice and quiet she listened to that story. She was just laying here the whole time with me. She seemed to enjoy Blue Kangaroo. Oh, sorry. She was so relaxed, she didn't know I was talking about her. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to prop the phone up here. Let's see if I can figure this out. And there we go. Okay, perfect. Perfect enough anyways. Okay, so our craft. And again, let me know in the comments about your favorite um, pet or stuffed animal. Or maybe if you don't like stuffed animals, um, let me know what your favorite real animal is and I will start the craft. Okay, so we're going to take our paper towel, or this is a toilet paper roll, um, or you can use a paper cup or a plastic cup will work as well. And the picture I posted had the cup um, filled with dirt and a little flower growing in it. So you can do that. Um, if you want to do that with your toilet paper roll, I'll show you how to close up the bottom. So we're just going to make a few snips in the bottom, about five snips, and then fold the bottom in like this. Um, but we don't have to plant a flower in here. I'm going to use mine just to store pencils and things, I think, like this. Or like that um, but I'll close up the bottom anyways and so we can just put a bit of tape on there if you don't want to put anything in here you don't have to you can um, keep the bottom open as well oh we've got a comment Diana says that Kai says lion Caleb says turtle and Jacob says shark that's awesome thanks guys for letting me know your favorite animals those are some great choices. My favorite animal is a tiger, and it has been my favorite all my life. Um, and I just love, love, love tigers. My second favorite, well, maybe tied with first because I just love this animal too, would be dogs, and I have a dog, so my dog is probably my favorite animal. Um, but of course I love tigers as well. Okay, I'm going to, I don't, I don't have the picture in front of me of what I showed you we're making, so I'm just going to try to go with the flow here. I think, let's see, first of all, I think we'll cut a strip of paper for our kangaroo's legs, and we want the strip of paper to be long enough that it can wrap most of the way around our toilet paper roll or our paper cup. And then we're going to just cut a, a leg shape into it like this. So this is the kangaroo's foot and its leg. And we'll just do, maybe we can fold it in half and you can draw that shape out too. So. Um, I'm going to trace the one I just cut. Oops. So 
I traced it onto the other side and I'm going to cut that out. And this is both of our kangaroo's hind legs and I'm going to draw a little foot detail on there so you can see that the kangaroo has a toe. <laughs> if that's what you want to do. And then we're going to round our piece of paper like this. And we're going to attach it to our um, toilet paper roll or our paper cup, just like that. And I think I'll use glue stick to do that. If you wanted, you could color your toilet paper roll as well, but I'm just gonna leave it this gray color because I think it works with my kangaroo's look that I'm going for. So I'll add some blue. There we go. And then it'll just hold it for a little bit because the glue needs some time to dry. So we'll keep it like that. If I let it go, the legs would probably just spring right off. So I'll keep holding that and meanwhile I'm going to draw my kangaroo's head. So the popsicle stick is going to be the kangaroo's neck and I'm going to attach it in the cup like this and on top of that is going to be the kangaroo's head. So maybe I'll pull this book over here so I can get some inspiration for what a kangaroo looks like. And I'll just draw its head. It's got some pointy ears here. And again, I'm sorry this is sideways. I haven't found a better way to prop my phone up um, than this way. So I'll have to play with that if it bothers you. So my kangaroo is kind of looking like a rabbit. So I'm going to make its head long like that, long and narrow. And its nose will be right at the tip there. And I'll draw a couple little lines for its inner ears. And if you have googly eyes, you can glue the googly eyes on there. But I'm just going to draw my eyes on too. So you can draw your eyes on with some markers or however you want. I've got this white... Um, paint pen, which is pretty cool, but you can use whatever markers you have, and I'll just, I probably should, it would work better if I let that marker dry, but just put some black dots in his eyes, and I'm going to cut it out. I think I've let this dry enough that it'll stay. So let's see, cut that out, and part an important part of the kangaroo's body is its tail. A kangaroo has a really thick, strong tail because it uses it kind of like an extra limb. The kangaroo likes to rest on its tail. It hops around on two legs and it uses its tail to kind of lean back on and rest. And um, also if it's um, fighting with another kangaroo, it will use its tail to attack as well. Okay, so I'm going to glue on my kangaroo's head to the popsicle stick. There we go. Let me know in the comments if you have any fun facts about kangaroos or any other animals that you want to share about. Tell me any interesting facts about your animal. Maybe Kai, Caleb, and Jacob know fun facts about their animals, the lion, the turtle, and the shark. So you guys could share that with us if you like. I'm gonna make my kangaroo a couple little arms. I'm just gonna cut one strip and round off the corners like this. And I'm gonna bend them a little, and then I'll glue that to the back of the popsicle stick. There we go, like that. And then those are his arms. 
and we're going to attach our popsicle stick in the tube there as part of his body. I think I will put glue on it, but also use tape so that the tape helps hold it there. Yeah, I don't think the glue is going to work really at all. I'm just going to use some tape. Get a couple little pieces here. There we go. And press that inside. There we go. Oh no, his arms fell off because they weren't dry yet. There we go. Okay, so he's coming together, but I think he just needs one more thing and that's his tail. So I'm gonna cut out a nice wide triangular tail like that. And I think I'll just tape it to the bottom like this. And then, oh no, his head fell off. So maybe let your uh, project dry before you swing it around like I'm doing. <laughs> or use tape, because that helps too. Um, but there's his tail. It's kind of bouncy and fun, like a kangaroo's tail. And then I can put things in there. So if I wanted to keep some pencils or pens in there, I could do that. Or if you prefer, you can fill it with dirt and plant a flower or a bean sprout maybe in there. Um, but this is my finished kangaroo craft. So let me flip you around here. Hello, everybody. Oh, we have some more comments here. Um, oh, okay, cool. Jacob says his favorite shark is a short, thin, Mako or Mako. I'm not sure how to say that. Very cool, Jacob. I used to love sharks too. Well, I still love sharks. They're very interesting. Um, but, oh my goodness. My husband is peeking in the window and upsetting the dog. Okay, I used to love sharks too, but, um, yes, hi Pippin. Uh, now I've complete, I'm so thrown off. <sighs> my I do love sharks, I still love sharks, but my favorite shark is a um, nurse shark. I did a school project on those once and I thought that was very cool. So, thank you for sharing that, Jacob, very cool. Um, so this is me signing off and Pippin's all riled up, so I better be going. And thank you so much for turning, tuning in today. Um, join Carolyn tomorrow at 10.30 in the morning for Budding Bookworms here on Facebook Live or um and come for friday at 10 30 in the morning as well for little explorers i'll be doing um further exploration of um australian animals and we'll be focusing on the koala so that'll be fun i hope to see you friday and have a wonderful rest of your evening night everybody